ดีค่ะ Welcome to NNT News Talk brought to you by the National News Bureau of Thailand. I'm c h o l a p a n s a n r u l a The advent of 3G technology has been much awaited here in Thailand. They say that with this technology, consumers, the Thai people, will enjoy faster and richer telecommunication services. However, there have been a delay in the issuance of licenses for many, many years. What are the main reasons? Today, we are joined by Dr. Anupab. Thirala, he's an independent academic in communication and information, who will be telling us more about this particular issue. สวัสดีค่ะจานสวัสดีครับ Thank you so much for making time for Thank the program. You. Tell us a bit about 3G and yes. why has it become such a controversial issue here in Thailand? Well, 3G in terms of technologies, that's no dispute. Much better than 2G or 2.5G because you can send more information in the same bandwidth. Okay, that would for 3G, but that would allow you to send video, mm -hmm. which is quite a little bit difficult in 2G or 2 to 5G because it's slower. For 3G, you can, you know, watch movie online. You can send a uh, medical record or picture, okay, online. Uh, even when you go for shopping. Okay, mm -hmm. they say, hey, I like this cup, but I'm not quite so sure. Okay, darling. What your opinion? You can show the picture to your company, okay? And they say, "Well, it's quite okay." That everyone could enjoy the information society if you have a higher speed or higher lane, like a car. You can have higher speed that the same way. So it sounds good for this technology. It's, it's very good. That no problem for that, and no one can dispute that. Three G much better than two point five G. So what are we waiting for? The problem is come to the legal aspect. Okay. Well, this is more than almost 10 years already of this problem, and no one could solve it yet. Even though the government try to uh, um, regulate or try to issue a new law, but because of we change government quite often, I think almost uh, four government in three years, <laughs> lastly, and and that would get delay in terms of new. Uh, new law, mm -hmm. and according to the previous one, uh, the organization which uh, have power to allocate frequency for use in communication or broadcasting uh, need two body. One we call National Telecommunication Commission mm -hmm. or NTC, of which we have. Yeah, which you have already, and second is National Broadcasting Commission. We call NBC, which is not yet exists in Thailand, almost 10 years. After being talked for 10 years, we After still don't have this commission. We still don't have it yet because of um, um, chilling in terms of legal aspect and because of uh, uh, some of the personal issue. Okay, lots of thing. Okay, mm -hmm. we we do not have it yet. So that s come to the the NTC. Whether NTC have the power to issue the license for frequency for 3G, mm -hmm. okay? Which um, NTC, which themselves not quite sure for this as well, so they send the issue to the state of council, which is as an advisor, legal advisor to the government or government body. Okay, the NTC say that okay. You have a part to do in telecommunication sector, as necessary. That that the NTC, oh no, that the state council told NTC. So it would back to NTC itself, whether they would believe the state or council, because the state council as a legal advisor to the government, not the end of the uh uh, what I say. You mean the absolute order? Yeah, it's not absolute. Either like uh, uh, when you go to court, uh -huh. okay, when the court rule out that okay, this is the end. That's, that's the fine. final ruling. That's the verdict that comes ruling. out. But the just an advisor when you when you got some legal problem when you go to uh, the lawyer or the attorney, okay, the lawyer give you the advice. It doesn't mean that it will be going to be the end of the ruling. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the same because we have two. Evidence in Thailand that the state of council, okay, give advice to the government, like when they sign the treaty with the Cambodian, okay, 
and the set of council say yes, you have the power to do so. This is over power hand issue. Yes, power hand issue. Okay. Okay, and the government did that, but when come out, no, no, they got challenged in court, and the court ruled that no, you have no power to do that. I see. Okay, and the second one is that the state of council uh, told the government that you have the power to vote. All the ministers in the government have the power to vote for the bill, for the budget bill. Okay, and the minister at the end decide not to vote because they are not quite sure whether they got to have some problem again. Mm -hmm. So this is such an example that they said the council advice, not the end of the ruling. I see. Yeah. So mainly it concerns the legal aspects. The legal but if aspect. you look at the uh, loss yes. that Thailand is facing yes. in terms of opportunity loss, yes. is that immense? Oh, that that very good question. Okay, many people make comments that, hey, Thailand, why is so late? You look at Laos, you look at Vietnam, you look at committed, all they have three Gs. That's correct. Mm -hmm. But when you look at how they use 3G technology, whether they use 3G technology for non-voice like in Korea, like in Japan, or some other advanced country. No, they just use for talking, for voice. So why do you need 3G anyway if you do not use it for non-voice services like data, high-speed data, like video that much consume the bandwidth? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's come back to do you need you do really need 3G? Or who really need 3G? Is people, the common people, or is the operator, which right now have to pay the concession to the government mm -hmm. each year is about 100,000 million baht. Okay, that's lots of money. Mm -hmm. Okay, if I spend just a fraction of it to buy the frequency from the NTC, and can be used for 10, another 10 or 20 years. Why is not? I just spent only one year of the concession and I can buy the 10 or 20 year of frequency period that I can use for 3G. Why not? So it's the mobile phone operators who actually want to go ahead with 3G, yes. not the people. Not the people. And when you justify in terms of e economic, there's no rational to do that. Because in each network of 3G, you need to invest at least 1 billion US dollar. That's about 30,000 million baht. Mm -hmm. That's a big money. Is it the same case uh, in Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia? Is the investment no. size the no. same? No, they just only invest a small amount of money and then just put up some network in some big city. And the rest, they still use the same. Ah, okay. the rest is still 2.5, yeah. 2.5, 2G. 2G. Which the regulation itself is not so strong as in the US or European country or Japan or Korea, which they rule out that if you're going to build a network of 3G, you have to build to, to cover at least 98% of the area in the country, not in terms of population, but in terms of area. Mm -hmm. That means even in forest area, you still have to make a uh, cover in that area as well. That you have to invest. That's come to the point that in many countries, they share the network. Instead of you have four operators, you build four networks. There's no reason because each network is so expensive. If you're going to provide a quality network. But if you say, oh, I don't mind the quality of network because I'm going to use for voice anywhere, oh, fine. So that is not 3G, mm -hmm. right? We are not talking of 3G, but we're talking, try to talk about the new license to avoid paying the concession to the government. I see. I say that I just use a fraction of that money, the one only one year of the concession fee to buy the twenty year of the new license. Why not? So a lot can be saved from yes. this by having the licenses. Yes. But um, uh, the the outcome of it, especially yes. for the consumers, yes. there's nothing much at this point. This is not a good question. When when right now people talk about that, oh, okay, how many licenses we should have? You know, how much did it pay for each license? But no one asks that what public going to get from this new license. Because the frequency, the value of this 3G is come from frequency. If no, if the operator get no frequency, no network anyway. Okay? And this frequency belong to the NTC? Is the frequency invest by the government? No. It's in the air. Okay? This asset belong to the public. 
So when the NTC try to allocate frequency to operator, why they do not ask what public going to get? Now the thing is, you mentioned a very interesting point that the frequencies are owned by the public. Yes. Is it stated in the law? That no, even in the constitution of Thailand. It says so. Yes, it says so. But we have no right? We have right, but we do not exercise the right. <laughs> I see. So what must we do then? Well, as the common people, you and me, you know, we can voice out that, okay, this is our right. If you're going to allocate this frequency, why don't you ask me what we're going to get? And right now they just talk, okay, how many million baht you pay to the NTC and you get their license. Why don't we go to not bidding for money, but contest to benefit to the public or to the general user or common people? Right there, okay. If you give me as an operator, if you give me the 3G license, right now, from now on, okay, each minute, I would cost for only 25 stang. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to make money from data. Okay, and then the operator come, oh, no, 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 25 stang is too, too high. I give you free. Okay, but I make money from data, so you give to me. Until I come, okay, but I still get another more option to the government. Okay, so when you have this kind of contest, the public would get in the end. Even the government gets zero baht, I still don't mind. Because the government do not own it anywhere. The government do not invest in this frequency anywhere. It belongs to the public. If the public enjoy the benefit, why not? I see. So there should be a public hearing on this first. Exactly. And exactly. let the people decide. Yes. Okay, interesting. We'll take a short break right here. When we come back, we'll be asking Ajahn Anupab about more questions, particularly if you say that NTC is not yet uh, uh, having the final say as mm. to the frequencies could be given to mm. mobile phone operators or not. But the mm -hmm. thing is, there are trials going on already. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about this when we come back. Okay. Okay.